It's time I for Dapper Dino. Okay, so welcome to this tutorial. Um, this tutorial will be a response to a request I got on Reddit. Uh, someone asked how to make a how to get a video player into your game. So, for example, in my game that I'm making on the last video, um, I have a little description of uh, the spell and the damage and the mana cost. I also have a little video playing of the spell, like a preview, and I'm going to show you how to get a video onto your game. So, first of all, you're going to need a video. Uh, the supported file formats are on Unity's website on the docs, but I'll put a link to that in the description. But for the moment, I'm just going to be using an MP4, that works fine. So, Fire Blast MP4, this is the video I was using. And here it tells you about it, so uh, 1920 by 1080 so just keep the resolution in mind. You want to create a new render texture, and I'll just call it video, and set the resolution here, the size, to the same as the video you're going to be using to keep the uh, <coughs> to keep resolution. And now in your game, you're going to want to create somewhere to show the video. So I'm going to create a UI canvas and a panel inside of that. I'm hoping you know how to do the UI stuff. It's not that complicated, at least to follow along with anyway. So the canvas is, um, <coughs> sorry, the entire space that the UI is. And then the panel is the visual thing you can see on screen that uses up the uh, screen space. I'm actually on the other side of this in the world. So I'll just, there we go. Um, so let's just uh, put that back to the screen size. Um, sorry, just. There we go, that's centered now. Uh, inside the panel, you're going to want to put the video. And to make the video render to the screen, you're going to need a part on the panel. So it's a UI raw image. So this is where it's going to be. Now, you don't really want your video to be a different ratio to the, to the video you've got. You don't want this to be different. So I'm using a 1920 by 1080, which is the resolution of my screen. So I make the raw image the size of my canvas, which is also 1920 by 1080. And then I can hold shift while dragging to keep that ratio to shrink it. And then I'll center it as well. Okay. So now it's in the center of the screen. And what I can do is I can now go into the panel and add a video player. In that I can drag in the video clip, so over here, video player clip. You want that in the same panel. I don't know if that's necessary, but it makes sense to keep it with it. And then render texture here, you want to put in your um, render texture you made earlier, the custom render texture. Now, um, oh yeah, and sorry, and on the raw image, you also want this to be the render texture, because that's what gets displayed on screen. So I'll quickly go over that. So inside your panel, you want the raw image, which has the texture of the video, um, the blank render texture you made earlier, the custom render texture. Because all this is, is just the video format itself. This isn't, Unity doesn't know what to do with this. This is what displays on screen. In the video player, this is what allows the video to be played. This is what takes care of it. So for example, you can loop it or change the speed or scaling and audio. There's no audio, so I might as well just turn that off. Anyway, now when you press play, because it's got play on a wake. There you go. That's playing the video inside. Now just to prove I've not just edited that over, that's on top of the thing. Um, so that's looping. Um, obviously you could mess around with the things and you could make it so that if you wanted to, you could add a script. You could have it so that when you press spacebar, it plays the clip or that. If it's play on a wake and you disable a panel, so for example, you know, disable the panel, and then I enabled it, that plays on awake again. I feel like, can I do that in runtime? So, in my game, when I mouse over the thing, it enables a panel, and it plays. And then when you mouse off, it disables a panel. And then you can enable again, it goes and plays. So yeah, whenever it is re-enabled, it plays on awake. And if you turned off playing awake on the video player, it would be paused. And then when you enabled it, it would be played. You can change this in uh, script, like you can with, I think every single component can be edited in script. Um, I would assume you just get the component video player 
I don't know the docs for this, but as you can see, you can just click on it and read here. So, yep, here you go. So you can do all of this stuff. There's a lot more in here in the script you can actually do, it seems. Yeah, you can change the video, you can change uh, the sound, the volume, every, you can change a lot more than you can here. But hopefully that was uh, informative enough for you to understand what to do. Quite simply, just, oh, the panel's disabled, yeah. So all you need is a video and a custom render texture for the video. And then on here, you just drag in the video clip. And then on the image on screen, so like for example, I could stretch this to be like this. I don't know why I would want to do that. But then I can press here. And as you see, it squishes it. That's why you want to make the, um, the raw image you want it to be the same resolution as the video, otherwise you squish, as you can see down here in the preview. Obviously you don't really want that. But hey, I think that's enough. Um, if you're still unsure of anything, just uh, ask in the description, in the comments, sorry. <laughs> but um, this has been Daffodino, and I'm out.